Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to Elm Creek for episode 4 of Farming Simulator 22 Wheel of Fortune Edition with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Elm Creek 2.0. That's the title of this uh, episode, mainly because I've started again. So this episode comes out after the 1.2 update and yeah, I've decided basically just to reset everything and start again the offshoot of that is there are a few changes that have happened on the farm mainly the yard for one uh, but the other th the other one is once i logged into a new save game the fields obviously changed a little bit so we now have canola in these f this field and we have also canola uh, in our field down here field 34 what i've also done um if i just click on the grass uh, we still have all our original grass fields but what i had to do was i had to reset everything and um, so now um i've basically reset everything and uh, replanted grass in fields that needed replanting etc and what i've done is i've brought in the original amount of bales that we had so um, I've reset it with uh, a number of bales um, I actually took some wrapper off some of them so we've got the original silage bales there that we had made before all our sheep pens are made back up and yeah I have also put in uh, the right number of grass bales as well I have had a bit of a rejig about the, the, the site as well um, and as you can see I've been using the roller and yeah, I've reset all the grass fields so hence this has been used as well what we're going to do we're just going to nip into the construction menu in a second I'll show you around the yard because that has changed a little bit as well um, but I'll just get this washed off there we go fantastic so not much has changed with regards to this half of the farm um, the animal pens are pretty much the same this little island has changed a little bit obviously just because I had to redo everything uh, but I've tried to keep this much much of a muchness so we've got the same amount of sheep in there they aren't obviously um, as healthy and uh, we have still um, still a fair way to go with them because I was I think it was three days into into the let's play before whereas this is still the first day so they're not um, at their maximum production yet they are sort of sitting at 20% uh, health uh, but yeah same numbers as before um, like I said this field has been regrassed and so has uh, this one over here those have both been regrassed and so has this one over here this one has been regrassed um, just to reset everything um, and this one has now been limed and um, reset as well so all the fields are pretty much to where they were before um, maybe a teeny bit better um, but it's the best uh, it's, it's what I could do to um, to make it as similar as it was before this shed is still in the same place with the same stuff in it um, I've put the, the bale collector in here as well and this is where it changes so I'm going to just jump into the building menu so I'll just zoom out house pretty much identical to where it was and that is still there but this has all changed now now part of the 1.2 update meant I could remove all the decorative buildings so I have done that and also part of this uh, update means I can now place objects uh, really close to each other there is that option um, so things I have done just here I have now got a horse pen um, so we've got a horse pen, pen there to put some horses in I put in an easy shed here and then we have got a um, a water silo there which is full of water over here obviously this had a manure pen thing here a manure pit 
so that has now gone that was part of the decorative items and this is now a fertilizer liquid fertilizer silo and that has not it's not full but it does have some liquid fertilizer in it put floodlights in we have two grain bins and um, the meridian ones and I could then place them a bit close together so those are there ready to go and yeah this was part of the update as well a different shed and this is now our shed for all our fertilizers and seeds and, and all that sort of stuff lives in there this shed here is an extra shed again I place that and yeah that is going to have a lot of machinery in it as well so if I just jump back out here I'll quickly show you in these sheds so as you can see yeah we've got um seed on that side and then we've got our fertilizers herbicides and lime will go in there too and in this, this shed here which is where the old house was we have a nice shed for different machinery unfortunately i forgot to collect that <laughs> so that is now stuck stuck in the floor but that's fine um, it's a little memento to tell us we're a sheep farm but those are in there now and I also purchased a subsoiler so that subsoiler is now in here as well so big changes but hopefully you like the the new layout uh, we've got some more lighting in here now as well so hopefully that should do the job but as you can see our canola is ready to harvest so what we need to do is we need to head down to stores because we don't have a harvester yet um, I will be getting horses at some point probably not this episode um, but I will do I will be honest with you though um, it was tricky doing a lot of the, the landscaping there was a few patches especially over this side that didn't want to landscape properly hence this big dip in the ground here but um, in general it's worked pretty well um, so we're going to head down to the stores and I've also accepted a harvesting contract. The contract is over on field 70, you can see it flashing away on the screen there. Um, so we're going to go and get that done. And we also do need to spin our Wheel of Fortune today because today we are going to decide uh, which uh, plot of land we're going to purchase to put our tailor shop on so that is definitely definitely on the agenda today so what I'm going to do is going to do a sneaky here I'm going to cut through here because this leads into our field so as you can see we do have a cotton field here now uh, which is good so basically they've swapped what is the canola now it used to be cotton and this used to be a sunflower field so this is now our main cotton field uh, which is good and um, I have managed to get that fertilized once and sprayed of weeds and um, so on its next day growth cycle we'll fertilize it again and that should do us nicely so the plan is to get this canola harvested and the canola up at the main farm and then we can uh, whoa, oops um, we can yeah get that stuff put into the silo so let's nip down here and we'll show you what equipment we've been given to do this contract with which I think you'll like so here we go so we've got a bent tractor I'm going to park this in the shade since it's quite a warm day and we've got the Lexion 8900 uh, harvester so I have moved this uh, trailer across a little bit just so we can we can get organized but I do need to buy a harvester for ourselves so I think what we'll do we'll get this uh, this harvest harvesting equipment over to the field we'll get that going and then yeah we'll come back and yeah we'll start harvesting our own fields so see you over at field 70 once we've got all this stuff over there and we'll get going with that and then yeah we'll leave a worker on that 
and uh, get ours done. Fantastic. So, we've got the tractor just coming along the road just now for us. So that's uh, that's going to park in here hopefully. There we go. Get that off there. Oh. Yeah, I'm big. You'll need to mind out the way. There we go. So, tractor's there, ready to go. And we just need to get this unfolded. Spun round. I absolutely love this harvester. It's so nice. <laughs> uh, let's lift that up a bit. Pull that out a bit. There we go. And we'll get this going just there, I think. Fantastic. So, we'll see how the contracts go with, uh, with the new update. Uh, there's been mixed bags, certainly from people. This has been fully fertilised though. Um, so, it should do okay this field, hopefully. But, um, yeah, pretty big field. Um, contract itself I forget uh, is worth 13,227 on its own so yeah uh, regardless of how much we get off of the field it should give us a fair bit of cash uh, it has to go to the cereal factory so we don't need to go anywhere other than local for this don't need to go on the train which is quite good um, but if it did the train tracks are just there so uh, it's not too much of an issue but I'm hoping that by the time we get around the first headland we should hopefully need to empty this um, so I'll continue around this headland and yeah we'll see you once we get to the first empty and then from there on in we'll let the worker get on with it and yeah we'll get on with our fields and we'll go and buy ourselves our own harvester it won't be one of these though unfortunately <laughs> yeah i don't want to waste all my money um but yeah ambitions ambitions it would be good to get something big eventually right this first row done and we're sitting on 4,269 litres, so yeah, this is going to fill up pretty quick, I think. Right, we will see you around the other end of the field, and yeah, we'll do our first unload. And uh, yeah, carry on from there. Fantastic, so we're just coming round to the end of the first headland and uh, yeah, we're 85% full so may as well dump this just now and uh, get that into the trailer I think while we're here may as well um, get the rear trailer and done for the cover off is uh, we're gonna fill this trailer up super quick okay carry on and yeah like I said we'll just go and I'll get a worker on this we'll set it up so we just go up and down this field and uh, yeah we'll see how we get on Way to go. So I'll leave them to it. We'll get that. Uh, we'll get. It's going to be a bit of a juggle this, but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. Right. I'm going to run back to the stores 
and uh, yeah, we'll see you over there. Fantastic, so just cross over and uh, yeah, let's get our things purchased. Now, obviously when uh, I went onto this map I had to buy some things that we got. So we got the sprayer on deal and the, the little Manitou uh, um, telehander on deal before and we couldn't, uh, that obviously wasn't there so we had to pay full price for that. Uh, money's on um, just over one and a half million because obviously the yard extension costs a little bit more. Um, so I've tried to have adjusted the money to get it to just about where it was um, and then take a little bit off for that yard extension. So I think we're about even. Um, I might be a little bit down in fact. So um, it's not the end of the world though. But I've not been on the bargains to see what there is actually. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. So, so that pickup could be handy, and that trailer is definitely going to be handy. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold off on the pickup just now, but we will get this. Um, license plates back only type 2 and yeah hopefully now these will just save automatically <sighs> let's get this right L-A-N-D Okay There we go, so got that um, This does have the natty uh, way of turning into manure spreader as well, which is quite good um, Yep, so we'll buy that So we've got that to haul um, And then what we need is we need a harvester. Now I will go back and get a tractor to bring this along uh, to start doing some carting but I think since we've got John Deere tractor I think we'll maybe go for John Deere harvester. So I'll go for the small one to start with. Um, I can get tracks on this at the moment but I think we'll just uh, we'll go with that yeah, go wide tires. Yeah, fantastic. That's that. And then we need a header for that. And we're just going to have to go for the small one because the big one is Mahusiv. Yeah, 13.7. I don't think it'll power that. So we'll just go for this one. And we'll buy that. There we go, and then we can get straight into the field and start getting this done. Nice. It's a nice little starting harvester this actually. There we go. So what I will do is I'll probably get a header trailer for this as well. Um, because We're already going to struggle getting through here, I think. Oh no, there we go. Got through. So... Get that unfolded. Okay. Nice. Now we can't chop... Chop canola. In fact, let's adjust that reel a bit. And away we go. So we shouldn't do too badly out of this. Um, it is fully fertilised this field. Um, and the weeds kind of got chopped. Um, there are some weeds still in there unfortunately. But 
yeah, I couldn't do anything about it because yeah, it was fully grown um, when I got the field. So yeah, we'll just have to make do. But something is better than nothing, as they say, and this will be our cash crop this year um, because our cotton is going to be used for uh, our, our fabric production hopefully so what I'll do is we'll get this set up as a time lapse I think uh, we'll get the we'll go and get a tractor as well we'll go and get that picked up and bring that down and uh, we'll get that connected up to that trailer and then we can start following this and then I'm going to juggle between this and the contract field and then once this one's done we'll move across to the field next to next to the farm the yard uh, the main farm and we'll get that one done as well going to be a busy hour oh the H is blocked by an object. That means that the tract is in the way. Right. Key the music. We'll see you in a bit. And uh, let's get all this done. So, you 
just finishing off this uh, contract then. Um, as you saw from the time lapse, we have got the first field of canola sorted. That is uh, all done. I moved the whole show up to our farm, up to the yard, and yeah, I've started the harvester over on that canola field now. As you also saw, I bought a header trailer for the uh, serial header, and I also bought a I bought that pickup. Um, because I thought it might connect to the header trailer but it doesn't so um, that was a bit of a shame but not to worry um, we've managed to get everything up there I just attached the header to the harvester which worked that was fine um, so yeah what we'll do we'll just head up to head up to the cereal factory which is where this stuff gets sold and yeah we'll dump this lot and see where we end up with this contract uh, hopefully ooh, hopefully we'll have some oats left over uh, for ourselves so we'll see you up this cereal factory and we'll get there get this done right into the south point we go then We'll sell this back trailer first. Stop there. Sixty-one percent. We're pretty close. Interesting. Definitely the percentages of contract finish a contract now it's definitely gone up I think it's close to 70 yeah interesting there we go so that's yeah right about 73 74 percent of the contract complete but here we go so done so we've still got 25,000 litres of oats there which is absolutely fantastic that's going to be uh, pretty handy and actually if we're going to get horses there's our horse feed <laughs> which is great um, so we'll head back up to the farm and yeah we'll figure out a way of getting this into the silo what we'll need to do actually we'll need to buy an auger we'll need to buy the uh, meridian augers um, to get this, uh, get this, uh, these crops into the bins actually. So what I'll do is I'll do a bit of juggling. We'll say probably take this trailer up to our yard, dump the trailers. I'll use this tractor to go and pick up the augers, and then yeah, hopefully the worker has finished collecting all our canola off that other field as well. Been a bit of a juggle this episode, but we're getting there. Right, turn right here. Probably the quickest way. Right. See you up at the main yard, and yeah, we should have all the bits and pieces we need. Okay, so I've been using the contract tractor just because. I can and uh, as you can see I've got a device on the front as well as the the fantastic Meridian Meridian auger uh, the red one which is the out I, I have but it's down at the store still but yeah I thought I'd get this uh, this little uh, carrying device for the front of the tractor this is a new mod that's out um, it's absolutely fantastic it carries uh, obviously our little John Deere Gator but it carries animals and bales as well um, so quite a nitty, nifty little thing uh, there was something similar on FS19 actually but um, yeah so if I oh, so I can yeah lower the cage down like that uh, with the right stick uh, either way and I can take the tension belts off then that means I can get in here 
and just drive off. Just like that. There we go. So that's saved uh, another journey. But we do have our pickup as well now, which is fantastic. Uh, but that'll be good for transporting animals and stuff further afield. Um, so let's get that folded back up. There we go. And we'll just put this over here for now, I think. Just out of the way so we can get this auger into place. There we go. Right, turn that off a second. It's a bit noisy. Alright, need to get in it. There we go. Turn it on. Give me a little engine on it, just to move it about. And we'll raise it up. There we go. And get this over the top. So raise it up a little bit more. Make it a good angle. That's a terrible angle. That should be about it there. And let's just get the help menu on. There we go. So get that folded out like that. There we go. Yeah, probably about there actually. And then the unloading on there and that should be good to go so that's the conveyor going and the auger going so let's get this into here now so made sure this is on green door yeah first this up to the auger There we go. So that's doing that. Right. That should be going now. Let's let's get this in the right place and hopefully wham bam we should get this going now. Let's see. Will it work? Yes. There we go. It's going nicely into the top of the silo. That's filling up nicely. And that's going up nicely. Fantastic. So, that is all working nicely. So I will continue on with that. What we do need to do though, is do our Wheel of Fortune. Um, I'll obviously get the canola from over there as well. Um, at the moment, let's have a quick look. We see 25,000 litres of oats and 18,458 litres of canola, which is a good little start as well. So, all in all, pretty good day really. Um, I, th I think once we've got this in as well, that'll be, uh, that'll go into the other bin there and then that will give us our two bins bins worth of uh, product we'll get this last little bit of oats in and yeah that will be all good so yes wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune today is going to decide which plot of land we're going to purchase 
uh, to put this tailor shop on. As I mentioned in the last episode, uh, we had a choice of three. So plot one was all the way over here, this one here, and then plot two was this one here, and plot three was this one here. Now, all the fields have changed, um, so we now have canola in that one, we have sorghum and oats in this one, and we have uh, soybeans in this one. So the the product the the crops have changed in the fields, but uh, prices obviously haven't. Um, so what we'll do we'll um, we'll bring up the wheel of fortune. It should appear in your bottom right hand corner again, and yeah, we'll give it a spin and see what it lands on. So here we go. Drum roll, please. And it's plot one. Okay, so plot one. So I'll buy that now, then it's done. Perfect. So maybe as an intro on the next episode, I will get the, the tailors built on there, and that'll be good to go. Um, obviously we're down to 985,000 dollars now um, and I still need to do the cotton harvest so that's gonna take a huge chunk of my money and um, so yeah we're slowly running out but it's fine we're we're doing okay we've got that silage to sell still and very soon we will have our wool coming in so lots of things ahead of us but I think as the sun goes down I'm gonna get this finish off we'll see you once it's all done and tidy it away and uh, yeah we'll finish up the episode then right we'll see you in a minute there we go so everything is put away harvesters away tractors away turn the lights off in there close that up and uh, yeah time to finish for the day I have uh, accepted another couple of harvesting contracts they're just small ones actually um, but once One's for canola, one's for oats, and one's for wheat. So I might sell the wheat, but keep the canola and oats, and uh, see how we get on with that. But uh, yeah, that is that is it. Everything's put away, everything's put into storage, and all that really mean, remains to be said is thank you very, very much for watching this year. Um, it is Christmas. Uh, it is Christmas Eve. So... Have a fantastic Christmas wherever you are. Uh, enjoy your festivities. Enjoy your new year. And from me and Wasteland Gaming and the channel, I just want to say a very Merry Christmas. And we will see you very, very soon. Take care of yourselves.